three, two, one, let's go. Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting edition of Boring JavaScript. I'm your host of Virtuoid aka Mike Smith and today we're going to be talking about enums in JavaScript. Now before you start yelling at me I know what you're going to say there is no such a thing as enums in JavaScript. I know that. Everybody knows that. So the purpose of this video is to show you how you can simulate enums in JavaScript just like you have them inside Java or C Sharp or things like that. You want to see how it works? Let's get going. So before we take a look at how it's done in JavaScript, let's first of all look at what we want to accomplish. Basically what I want to do is I want to be able to create an enum type construct within JavaScript that simulates things you get inside Java and C Sharp and things like that. So I've got a simple little C Sharp program here to show you what I mean. This is how you declare an enum within C Sharp and this is going to assign the values of cat, dog, and horse to the variable animals so that I could then access that with animals.cat, animals.dog, and animals.horse. So if I was to go to the command prompt here and type in my little program, I'll get my cat is zero, my dog is one, and my horse is two. So it shows you that although I told it to say here are my elements, cat, dog, and horse, it automatically assigned numbers of one, zero, one, and two to it. So I kind of want to simulate the exact same thing in JavaScript. And let's show you how that can be done. Here is what I came up with to simulate enums within JavaScript. This will allow me to declare a new enum. I've made enum a class to pass it cat, dog, and horse so that when I access it as animals.cat, animals.dog, and animals.horse just like I did within the C-sharp program, I'll end up getting something like this. Let's just type this in. My cat is zero, dog is one, and horse is two. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. So let's now go into the details of how that actually worked. So what are the requirements? Well, first of all, I want to be able to pass any number of arguments I want and each one of these arguments is going to be a property of this object. Second of all, each one is going to get a unique value starting at zero and going straight up. So I should expect cat to be zero, dog to be one, and horse to be two. Third of all, everything has got to be read only. So later on, I can't say animals.cat equals four, or I can't say animals.coyote equals five, which will add coyote to animals. Everything's got to be locked down and read only. Well, this is how it's done. Very simple, very easy to do. First of all, I'm converting all of the arguments into an array. I am setting my initial value to zero because I want to start the numbering at zero and go straight through. I'm doing a for each on the expressions, and then I'm doing a define property. Now what that does is allows me to do fine-grained control over how that property is being created. And importantly, a define property allows you to define getters and setters, and a getter is a function that will be executed with if JavaScript will ever need to grab the value of that property. And a setter is, ex is JavaScript that is executed whenever you need to change the value of the property. So I have got a getter function here that returns new value, and I'll tell you a little bit later on what, why I said new value did not value, but notice there's no setter function. And that is because I want it to be read only. This will mean that I can't say animals.cat equals five. Finally, of course, I'm incrementing value and it just loops on. But finally, the big thing here is, is I am doing object.freeze and this freezes the entire object itself. So I can't say animals.coyote later on to be able to, you know, change or add properties to the object. It has to be locked down completely. And that is why that when we go, went into Node earlier, that you saw that we had 0, 1, and 2 automatically printed out there because the value was set for 0 and I just incremented from 0, 1, and 2 and that corresponded to the number of arguments that I put into the property. Now one thing I wanted to show you here real quick what's interesting here is why did I assign new value to value? Well it's very easy. Here's the explanation why. If I did not do that, if I just put the word value here, what will happen is that once JavaScript goes in or a pro JavaScript program goes in there and says give me animals.cat for example value once it gets out of the loop is set to three and it's going to return three if that was the word value there 
So what we have to do is that within the loop, we've got to copy the current value of the value variable and put that within value. You want to see how that actually works? Let's just actually do it this way. Let's kill that and let's put value here. Now remember, the thing is, is that once we get out of the for each loop, value is going to be equal to three. So now if we go back into node, My cat's three, dog's three, and horse's three. So that broke the rules there. So that is why that I assigned a new variable to the, to the variable itself, to the value variable, so that I can be ensured that each particular argument got its own unique value. And that is how you can use the class here, to, or, or an enum class, to be able to simulate enums within JavaScript. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a modification to the enum class to give it a little bit more flexibility. Some languages allow you to assign values to enum. So instead of saying enum cat dog horse, I could say enum cat equals two, dog equals four, horse equals six, so on and so forth. For example, if I was to now declare my new, declare my new animals object here, I'm now passing instead of just cat, dog, and horse, I'm passing an actual object, which is the name of cat and the value of that I want to assign to it. So cat is two, dog is four, horse is six. Here is your new enum class. And as you can tell, it's a little bit simpler than it was before. I've gotten rid of all the value, the new value and all that because I don't need those. The value is being passed to me through animals. So within my for each loop, I've just gotten something very simple here. My getter now says, okay, instead of just returning value, I'm gonna return the expression dot value or the dot value of the object that is passed to me the name of the uh, property is going to be exp dot name so all i'm doing here is just i am just assigning the name and the value based upon the object that i am passed within each of the arguments and again i don't have a setter function here which makes it read only and i'm freezing the entire object so that it cannot be changed so let's take a look and see what happens let's go into node and type in node assign. And sure enough, now my cat is two, my dog is four, and my horse is six. So that's a modification you can make to the enum class to be able to assign values to the different enumerated properties that you wish to define within your object. And that's all there is to simulating enums within JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I didn't bore you to death. Please check out all of our videos at www.boringjavascript.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out at blog.thevirtualoid.com. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you later.